fouled him. He is a champion. If he's not doing it with the bat, he's doing it with the ball for the West Indies. Most memorable moments in the Maroon Colors. Um, first five wicket haul in Afghanistan. Think putting in the hard work and then going to the test match and get my first five wicket haul. That was my most enjoyable moment in West Indies Colors. Taking my first test wicket was good. Um, actually, feel overwhelmed getting my first test wicket and. From the get-go, I take my first catch. I know well I'm right in the business. My first test wicket was Pujara. Um, feel really good to get your first test wicket to start your career, and hope many more to come. Bowling. He is a champion. If he's not doing it with the bat, he's doing it with the ball for the West Indies. You know, it's when we. You know, won the test series against you know against England. Um, you know, that's the first time also we beat England in my career. And you know, that day, you know, was very, you know, very memorable for me. I mean I, I, I truly enjoy the series, you know, any series home against England is always is always fantastic. Uh, you know, it didn't get the big big runs that I would like, but you know it did a good job, you know, me and John getting some good partnerships up top. You know, I really enjoy that. And uh, you know, just gotta keep going from strength to strength. You guys were phenomenal, especially the, the testing Barbados. You know, coming obviously we were probably about four or five weeks down the evening. You know, Jason and Derek coming back the, the next day and you know playing those runs on the board, giving us that big lead was phenomenal. You know that. I mean, and then the bowlers coming and do a fantastic job. I mean, that series on the whole was you know very it was a fantastic series. You know, you really enjoyed it and you know obviously you topped it off by winning, so that was that was great. Bowling. Is a champion. If he's not doing it with the bat, he's doing it with the ball for the West Indies. It's probably the test match against England here in Barbados, uh, where I got a double century and Ross Chase got eight wickets. Kim Marosh also got a five-wicket call in the first innings, and you know we won pretty convincingly. Uh, and it's just the, the context of the game, you know how the series had played out, you know, leading up to the first game, and you know it was a situation where you know. At the beginning of the, 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 the series, we were probably written off or, or not regarded to win a game. Uh, we won the first test match really, really convincingly, and for me, it's, it's a game that I will always remember. For me, it's home territory. You know, um, I've always wanted to do well here at, at Kansas and Noble, and I've got a pretty good track record so far here at Kansas and Noble as well. And you know, the only thing that was missing for me is getting a, a century in front of the, the home nation. So, uh, in that game, I can remember distinctly I wanted to go in and get 100 and. You know, I got to 100, but my partner Shane Dirt, he was still around, I think 50, 60 on him. For me, it was my goal to get him to 100. And by the time he got to 100, I was probably 150, 160, and time enough to get a double century. So, you know, we went on and batted, and, you know, luckily for me, and it was able to raise it back again. And, you know, obviously, a, a, tour, a tour against England, you know, plenty of English people come down here and, and look to enjoy not only the, the great cricket, but our, our cultures and atmospheres. So, it was good to do it in front of such a a heavily packed stadium uh, when it comes to the, um, the numbers in test cricket and yeah to, to, to do it in front of the crowds uh, with the atmosphere and you know you're just being regarded as probably our biggest series in, in, in the history of Westerns cricket so to do it there and, and do it in front of home home, series, home crowd was, was remarkable for me. Bowling. He is a champion if he's not doing it with the bat he's doing it with the ball for the West Indies. would be my 100 against Pakistan at Kensington Oval in 2017. I scored 130, and that's my most memorable moment. It is probably the happiest day of my life ever. I would say that that takes the number one place as my most memorable moment with the bat for s and What made it so special for me is that it was my first test match at home, on home soil. Yeah. So... I told all my family, all my friends, all my club mates, all my other past cricket teammates to come and watch me. I was so excited about playing at home for the first time. Um, a bit of nerves having everyone come out to watch me and support me. But um, I was in good form from the first game. So I was, a, I was confident still going into the second game because I got some runs in the, in the first game in Jamaica. And I just went out there and things got flowing from early and I never looked back and at the end of the day, 
the, the fans and my family, everyone was just cheering for me. Goes back to Kensington Oval, seemed to have a knack for performing well at home. Um, it would be the eight wickets I took in the win against England in 2019. Yeah, I got eight, eight for 61. That was my best bowling figures, but I still thought that my bowling performance, I was really happy with it in terms of my lines and lines, the consistency and so on. And again, my family and friends came up to watch me and I performed in front of them. So it's just a great feeling to know that you've made everyone that um, is cheering for you and who's backing you proud. Is is no greater feeling than that on earth, man. That that was the um, greatest series for me that I've played in thus far as a, a West Indian player. And yeah, that eight for six sixty was a great feat for me.